For me personally, I think that even though the school is doing a really good job with making sure everyone gets the resources they need for online learning, it's definitely not ideal. And it's really something that I honestly don't really like that much. I'm a very social person and being in school is really fun for me because I get to see my teachers, talk to my friends, you know, it's just a lot better that way. And I think that the online learning is a little difficult because people are very easily distracted. Like you're in your bedroom, there's TVs, phones, all that stuff. It's not really as but like as good learning environment, I guess, as school is. So I think that the online learning is definitely difficult and I'd much rather be in person for school. Well, for me, it's been extremely difficult because it's really hard to pay attention like when you're at home because you have your phone, you have your family coming into your room, you have your siblings always around. Plus you have like everything in your room to distract you or like wherever you're sitting. But going into school actually helps a lot more because you can't really get as distracted as you are when you're home. So it's just been difficult, like being remote. Um, I think something that I definitely took for granted before the pandemic hit was just basic everyday things like going to my Nana's house and giving her a hug or hanging out with my friends or especially like going out to dinner. That's something that like, I never really thought much about because it was just a normal thing, everyday life. But once the pandemic hit and you couldn't really do those things as much anymore, or like if you could do those things, there were restrictions, then I realized there's stuff that like you shouldn't really take for granted. So I think I actually appreciate stuff a lot more, like the little things like that. Well, the purpose of parades is like to show spirit and joy and like a big celebration for everybody, not just like one person, because it's like the whole world is celebrating one thing. And not having them is pretty sad because celebrating them is just so much fun and watching them is incredible and it's just so big and like loud and amazing. I think the main purpose of parades is just basically bringing everyone together and celebrating whatever holiday it is that the parade is for. And I think it's just a moment where people can all just come together and really appreciate each other. And um, I just, I think that since the parades weren't as big this year as they usually are, it was definitely a little different, a little sad that we didn't get to see as much as we usually do. But I think that hopefully in the next coming year, we'll be able to do bigger parades and everyone will get to spend more time together watching them and enjoying them. Spreading around, there's people
Is this Avery? Yes. Hi. Thank you so much for coming to our virtual auditions. Thank you so much for having them. So, it looks like it's your first year here at East Harrison. Yes, we just moved here. What brings you here? Well, my dad was laid off because of COVID and he ended up getting some work here, so we moved here. I see. How are you liking so far? It seems really nice here. I don't really think we've gotten a real sense of it yet, but hopefully we will soon. Well, we're very glad that you're here. I know that can't be easy. Right. Thank you. So, we don't really know what this year is going to look like, but we're so glad they gave us permission to have some auditions, even if they are virtual. We just want to get to know everybody. So tell us, Avery, were you able to perform any at your last school? Yeah. Oh yeah, all the time. Well, I mean some, I got to perform some. I've played a townsperson, a soldier, a featured pirate, a train, 
You name it, I've probably done it. I'm looking at the bottom of your resume, and it says that you listed a leading player in Pippin. That's a big deal. Yeah. But why is it in parentheses? It's okay. Take your time. Right. So, it's there because... Okay. So my dad and I, it's just us. And he works all the time. And we just never really get to spend any time together. But for my birthday, when I was seven, he told me that we were going to go to New York and we were going to go see a show. We never get to go to New York and we definitely don't have money for show tickets. But he found out that if we got in line really early, we might be able to get some rush tickets to see something. I used to do that all the time. You can get some of the best seats that way. But sometimes you have to get there so early. Exactly. We got in line to try to get tickets for Pippin at 5 a.m. I'd never seen that show before, but the pictures looked so amazing. And we ended up getting rush tickets for the first row. We couldn't believe it. And we're sitting in the theater at showtime, and it starts. And out walks Patina Miller, and I just... I couldn't stop watching her. She was just the most stunning person I had ever seen. And I thought, that's it. That's the thing. I want to do that. I want to be that. That's exactly how I felt when I saw Brian Stokes Mitchell in Men of La Mancha. It immediately became my favorite show. And Pippin became our favorite show. We sang it in the car when he would drive me to school. We knew every single word. And all I wanted was to play the leading player. I couldn't stop thinking about how Patina Miller just owned every moment she was on stage. She looked into the eyes of every audience member and she was in control. She was the storyteller. And I remember thinking, I want to do what she just did. So what did you do? So I auditioned for everything and played every ensemble role I was offered, but I knew that one day my moment would come and I would be able to be that storyteller. And then last year, my school announced that they were going to do Pippin. My father told me when I was seven, I'd be famous by age 11. So what 
What was it like to finally play the leading player? Opening night was scheduled for March 14th. I see. So, that was that. They said they would postpone, they said they would find a way, they said a lot of things, but it was cancelled. And we did the work, but we never did the show. So, that's why it's in parentheses. I did it, but I didn't get to do it. I'm so sorry. And I never thought I would get to do this again. For so long, I thought it was just some sign from the universe that this isn't in the cards for me. But I can't deny how I feel when I'm on stage. I know what I love. Thank you, Avery. We're so glad you're here. Oh God, oh God, and there are so many people here and that guy is wearing the same shirt as me. I'm so nervous waiting online, a line that's stretching from the stage door to around the block. Trying out for shows makes me sick, and when it's time for me to sing, I always go into shock. Okay, here we go. Will he think I'm right for the part? Or will he think that I am totally just wasting his time? Why do I keep torturing myself? I'm sweating bullets and I think that I am losing my mind. I really need to get this part. It could be the start of a wedding street for me. Just one big break. That's just all it takes, you'll see. You got the songs, you got the notes. I think I got this. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just kidding myself, and when I go inside, I think I'll mess up and really suck. Why did I think I had a chance to change to land this part and take some steps to change my luck? Why do I keep changing my mind? This is such a grind, trying out for every show. Will I be cast, or will they just tell me no? Question tells me that I need to change. To change this crazy low opinion of myself that is weak I'll go inside and just do my best I'll do my best and maybe when I sing I'm not gonna freak I think I am starting to feel I'm feeling confident and facing all my demons head on I'll go inside and sing my best song And then by doing so I'll prove that all my fears will be gone They say there's nothing to it Gonna give them all that I got I think I'm gonna do it I'm gonna give them my best I kind of just fell into theater because my friend was doing the musical and one of the ensemble members dropped out. So they were like, well, if you'll show up to rehearsal and you'll be enthusiastic, then you're in. And I was like, well, this is the easiest job I've gotten so far. So I said, sure. And it ended up being actually kind of fun. And I made some friends. I mean, it's my first year here, but they're all really talented and they've taught me so much. I really want to know what the other people do though. For example, there's the stage manager who keeps everybody on time. There's the lighting designer who uses light to create all of this mood on stage. And then there's a sound designer who uses sound effects to transport the audience to another realm. And there's just so many different people involved with making the play happen. I think I want to do costumes next time though. I mean, I guess I'm looking forward to college. I know it'll be a new experience and I'll meet new people. And to be honest, I feel like I've finally just gotten used to what high school's like. And once you finally figure things out, I guess they change it on you. But anyway, back to your original question. Ever since I first discovered theater, I've always wanted to be a director. Rachel Shavkin is my favorite director. I mean, have you seen Town? I saw it five times. And three of the times I went just so that my friends could experience it. I've never seen anything like it. Her shows, they are so layered, so detailed. It is so impressive. I feel like she could take the audience to so many unexpected places and create these worlds and these environments that are just so inspiring. <laughs> 
want to create worlds the way Shavkin does. <laughs> I want to create worlds the way Shavkin does. And that's what I'm going to do. I saw the original cast of Wicked spelling bee. Spring Awakening both times. Be more chill in the heights. I saw Hamilton off Broadway at the public. Into the Woods in Central Park. Dear Evan Hansen, I literally waved Ben Platt through a window. Frozen. If then. Jacket Little Pill. Hates Town. My favorite? I can't pick a favorite. Why would you ask me to pick a favorite? My dream role? It would be to play Audrey in Little Shop of Horrors. Or Karen in Mean Girls. Or a production of Fun Home where I play all three Allisons. For the past three years, I've been the Lightwood Operator. It's... Fine. I haven't gone to design any. But this year, that's gonna change. I already outlined a design, and hopefully we'll go for it. Cause... It's time! I mean, last year, there were so many lighting cues that I fixed when the lighting designer wasn't looking. It's really time for my own show. What the way I see it. I can't believe it. All I've ever wanted is to play Elle in Legally Blonde. And now, it's senior year, we have a new theater director, and they picked Legally Blonde? It would have been enough just to do the show, but now I get to play Elle? This is literally a dream come true. I admire her so much. The odds are stacked against her, and she still wins the case in the end. I know that senior year is already packed with college applications and scholarship applications and classes, but I'm going to give everything I have to this role. I have to, it's, it's my dream. Here we go again, hoping for a chance to be seen. This is our dream to go for, to be a star. We'll count every step and sing each measure.
frightened and shaken, uncertain of who I am deep inside. I search for the answers to questions that flutter through my mind. Is it all just one big game? Myself to blame. Please tell me I'm listening. Why can't you see you're just like me? I'm special. Yet different, but lonely. Could someone please hold my hand? I'm trying and hoping. I'm praying to simply understand all these feelings. To Like you, you say it's just my age. You say I'm going through a stage of countless painful moments every day. Oh God, please set me free to be just who I'm meant to be. Why is that so hard? I'm searching. Shifts, my heart breaks. I feel so lost. I don't know where to begin. I just don't know myself at all. My lack of trust creates a wall. Don't ask me. Don't judge me. Why can't you see? Like me, emotions racing fast, still dealing with my distant past. Memories of my youth have passed me by. Oh God, please let me know exactly where. Just.
know I exist. I've been glued to the news. There are probably other things that I should be doing, but I just can't stop watching. They're finding out new information every minute, so I feel like I have to keep checking and keep scrolling. Last week, they said this would last for a couple of weeks. Now, they're talking months. Everything is being postponed, but with the way things are going, everything's gonna be canceled anyway. I don't know what they're thinking with this idea that things are gonna be back by the summer. I say, let's all just radically accept that things are probably gonna be like this for a while. Then maybe we can find a solution. I say, let's cancel everything so there's no pretending. I'm ready for the long haul. I know some people aren't, but I'd rather be ready and then pleasantly surprised if this ends sooner than later. Oh, looks like the CDC just published some updates. Am I wrong for appreciating the break? School is already hectic and I like that we got to just take a step back. I feel like I've been going 90 miles an hour since I can remember. Get this reading done, finish that paper, go to that meeting, get this application and go to work. And weekends are not a break. They've never been a break. And there's always a million things to do during the summer, so no, I don't know what it's like to actually pause. So I know that there's a lot that we don't know and that things are very scary, but I can't lie. I'm enjoying my time. It's really nice to not have to be in a million places. I know that at some point work will open up again and school will adjust, but I'm really liking having some time for me. I really don't know what that feels like. So while some people are feeling confined and trapped right now, I feel like someone just gave me a chance to catch up, relax, and enjoy the break. The other day, I saw someone post something that said Shakespeare created some of his best work while quarantined from the plague. Okay, that's great. But why are we all suddenly running headfirst towards this idea that we can suddenly achieve our dreams because we're locked inside? I just don't get it. It's like toxic positivity somehow got worse. I'm not saying we can't discover new things and learn new interests while we're all inside, but I'm not here for this pressure to try and create some of the world's greatest work because I was faced with one of the world's greatest struggles. I mean, what do they expect? I think the best thing we could do right now is just make it through this. Like, hopes and dreams, they don't, they don't just expire. Just because I don't want to write the next revolutionary novel today does not mean that one day I won't. There are so many things I want to do but I may not get to do all of them right now. And I think that's okay. Sam! Reese! Man, you look great. It's, it's been so long. Dude, I know, right? Like, what even is going on with our world right now? You know, this is definitely not how I thought college would come. Yeah, dude, I, I know, right? It's, it's just so tough. I'm doing all my classes virtually right now, which is just, you know, like, what even is that? Bro, seriously. Are you, uh, are you still at your mom's? Yeah, yeah, I am. They, uh, sent everybody home. Uh, so what about you? Are you still in your dorm? Uh, no. I, uh, well, uh, I'm in upstate right now. Oh. So, one of the girls in my acting company, her family has this little cabin in the Catskills. So a few of us came about here to quarantine, but it's it's no big deal. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh dang it! It really looks beautiful out there. <laughs> yeah, it's it's no big deal. So you know, we're just finishing up our schoolwork and trying to wrap up the semester best we can. 
Dana and I are thinking of renting a camper van and just traveling over the summer. Dana? Oh, yeah, Dana. Uh, this is uh, her family's cabin. And, uh, you know, her and I were kind of um, together, but it's no big deal. It's no big deal. Oh, okay, that's great. I'm so glad you both found each other during this uh, time. Yeah, yeah, she's super sweet. Hey, Sam, check this out. Huh? This new TikTok video was that? so funny. Oh, yeah, bro, I saw that already. I saw that. It's so funny. Uh, but get out of here. I'm talking to someone. Get out of here. Hey, uh, sorry, man. I'm sorry about that. So, uh, things are good for you at your mom's? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. I mean, everything's fine. Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. My, uh, sister had to move in with her, uh, three kids, so, uh, there's that. They, uh, have to use my room to do their school and my, uh, computer, too. Oh, dude, I'm... I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, it's, we figured it out and all. My, my classes are night, and so it all works out. And by night, I mean their evening classes. But on West Coast time, so... Uh, I'm up very, very late. Like, all the time. And then I have to hang out in the kitchen while they do school because I can't be in the living room because my mom is in there working. So it's all just a little tight in here. <laughs> Whoa, I... I didn't know. But I'm like just so happy that you are in this nice woodsy area and that you're dating somebody. I mean, that is just so great. Yeah, I'm, I guess I'm truly blessed. Because it's really not going like that for me at all. I'm also terrified of getting sick. I don't go out. I'm over here barely sleeping and I can't seem to see any possible way out. I'm... Stuck in a rut, every day is a grind. Have you thought about going out for a walk? I stay locked in my house, I think I'm losing my mind. Maybe some exercise, do some curl. I'm teetering at the brink, I think I need a shrink now. It's all about that mindset, man, just change it. Feelings I can't contain, I think I've gone insane. Yeah, I gotta jump, but I'll talk to you soon. Take care of yourself, stay safe, and just, you know, don't be sad. It's that easy. Yeah, it's that easy! I'm stuck in a rut, I think I'm going to scream. I'm secluded from life, I know it seems so extreme. Flying everywhere, my friends don't even care why. They aren't very smart, I think I'm gonna start to cry. Why am I scared of what I cannot even see? I'm not prepared for what this world survive and dig out of this hole maybe step out on faith get my life in control not gonna even care breathe in some open air great here's where my story ends i'm gonna see my friends wait I can't go outside. It's not me that's wrong. It's my friends. I'm doing the right thing. I'm gonna stay inside all by myself forever. And it's gonna be okay. You didn't raise me to behave like this. No, you raised me to think for myself and speak my mind. And I'm so tired of that surprising me when I do. I'm so sick of you acting like there's something wrong with me when I do what I think is right. That's what you, you taught me to do. And that's what I'm gonna do. Now, I'll be back later and I don't know when. But if you feel like you don't know me or that you don't understand me, why don't you try asking me? Why don't you ask me? Huh? Then you would know.
Daddy wouldn't feel so in the dark about who I am or what I do. Why don't you ask me? I give you so much, so much space. I give your thoughts and opinions so much of my life. I don't know what's happened here, but I'm not the one who's different. And through all of it, I really do try to understand you. Who you are now, I really do listen to what you say. But at the end of it, you don't ask me what I feel or think anymore. You stop doing that. I don't know why. The thing is, I don't think you actually want to know. And that's what scares me the most. We used to talk. We used to have time. But now you just insist on me being this person that I'm just not. I don't know what's happened to you. People are being taken from their families and locked in cages. And I'm not just going to sit here and do nothing. And if you are the person that I think you are, you won't either. If you could see who I am after all that we've been through, then maybe you might understand that I'm really just like you. I love living in a land where I feel I'm true. With your family just like me Sometimes my heart sadly breaks Because the world could be so mine Why can't we do what it takes To live in peace and just be kind Together we Take my hand, it's not too late. Take my hand, it's not too late. If you could see in my heart, that's what you simply have to do. And maybe it could be a start to see I'm really.
Well, where do I even start? You know it's really hard being new here? Even being in school part of the time, everybody still has their groups, and it's like they don't want to let anyone else in. I get it, but everything's already hard. The least you could do is, <laughs> I don't know, be nice for like a second. I don't know what's so hard about that. There are new students every year. This isn't a new concept. You know, I didn't even want to come to the school, but my dad and like, 200 other people at his company, they were all laid off, and now he's looking for work, and after doing something like 75 interviews, he was able to get some work here. So yeah, it's just been so great for me this whole time, through all of this, and all of you are really making it just so easy. <laughs> what else? Oh, well, all of my friends from home also had to move so their parents could get work. The only person I ever really talked to is my boyfriend. But he's mad that we moved and just keeps wondering when I'm coming back. But I'm like, grow up, dude. No one likes any of this. This is what we have to do. All I want to do is break up with him, and I'm sure I will, but for right now, I really don't want anything else on top of what I'm already dealing with. So there's that too. And... Days just feel like they won't end. Or like they barely happen. Time is just so warped right now. Nothing, nothing is familiar. And It's hard to have any kind of hope. You know, I used to have all these things that I wanted to do, but now I just don't know anymore.
What's inside my heart? Please give me my one big break and cast me in the part. That's my story. I just want to dance. I've been dancing all my life. Just please give me a chance. I just want to dance. like to welcome the family members and friends who have come to witness this special celebration. You have been these young people's teachers every second of their lives. We have educated them for only a very short while.
We thank you for loaning them to us over the last four years. So please give your families and friends behind you a big round of applause.
Change.